Double Ganon. Free, he says. Free. Okay. Double Ganon. Let's see the freeness. So we're off. It's Q and Apex versus Kalel Galaxy. We have two Ganondorfs on the stage. They're both on the same team. And they're facing off against a Big Fat Penguin and a hero. Oh, there goes the first storm and I say first because I'm definitely certain that there's gonna be more oh there goes a axe kick that explodes on contact with the floor so blue team reduced the two stocks and Kalo with something to say about it that floor smash nearly eating away his shield Apex was still standing strong on three strong on three stocks, but not for much longer. Kalo able to get the better of him in that exchange. This battlefield option. Some close quarters combat. Oh my goodness, the forward smash, and then the taunt, Q, and then the immediate SD. Q with an amazing sequence, destroys his teammates and himself. When you feel the bliss, and you just go for it all. Well, at least one thing about Double Cannons is that you can say they're definitely entertaining. All of a sudden these Fire Blasts from Galaxy don't look so harmful against these guys. Apex Rose with the, the down B finally getting that last stock off Galaxy. And it's probably only a matter of time now. Down he goes. Apex seeing that he has two stocks. Just went for it all. Takes him all the way down. Stylish fashion. Choke slam into the abyss. What a stylish way to finish off game one. So the advantage goes to Liquid Q and Apex Rose going into the second game in yellow. Uh, I didn't even know there was a team yellow. Well, actually, no. Player three is always yellow. So I guess, yeah, there is yellow.
Galaxy reverting to his Steve. More comfortable option to cheese these Gandos off the side of the stage. Is he getting a lot of farm there? Kalel doing well to hold out those two Gandalf for a good 10 seconds of the first exchanges of the match. Cheesed out! Apex going for a stomp and Steve getting the better of him. It's only natural. And then in a hurry to save his partner, gets up smashed from Q. Kalel being his shield being wiped out in that exchange. Now Q the stock leader in this game so far. Galaxy's on him. While well, Apex is walling out Kalel. Goes for the read but does not repull the trigger. Apex Rose misses his golden chance to take an early stock off King DDD. Excellent tech coming out. Kalel saving his own skin with the land into the forward smash straight after. Galaxy with the forward smash of his own. What's happening? This game just flying by so fast. Apex Rose and Kalel throw both down to their last stock. Q and Galaxy on two stocks each. Bit of some jitters of lag. Don't kill us now. The minecart taking out Q. Now it's Galaxy holding out the lead for blue team. Kalo doing well to keep his percentage low. But Apex on his last legs in this game so, so far. Q does not have a stock anymore. The share stock. Forward smash from Q. He spams it. Finally gets one off Galaxy. He's down to his last stock, but these two Ganondorf, very high percentage. It's looking dangerous for them. Stage control blue team. Red team finally getting their footing. Galaxy trying to blow them up, but only blows himself up by accident. Is that the end of Apex? Cannot mash out fast enough. Means there goes your stock. Galaxy trying to end this one off the side. It's a re-grab. Unpunished. The side B almost gets him out of there. Q still living. He's on 170%. There's a TNT in play. Just has to step on it. Q with the unsafe option. Getting back up onto stage. Blue team evening things up. What a piece. And what a battle. These two teams going head to head. Scores tied one apiece. Will Kalel and Galaxy seal their place in the finals? Or will they be forced to hope for a positive outcome between Q and Apex versus Hachi and O9?
how is this final game going to play out? Are we going to see another double Ganondorf? Is Galaxy and Kalel going to mount themselves a really nice 2-0 comeback? Yep, double Ganon again. So let's go. DDD Steve versus double Ganon. PKS2. PS2. The stage of choice. Oh, nice little run back forward smash from Q. Gets Kalo up to a very high percentage so early. Kalo by now knows the tricks. Taking them on two on one while Galaxy farms. He's buying time for his teammates to get some good gear. Up smash taking out Galaxy. Coming out from Q and Kalel returning the favor shortly after. Oh, that is an awkward angle. It might just be too much for DVD. Imagine that. An angle that even DVD could not make it back from. Kalil just say, oh I'm mad now, I'm just gonna kill your teammate. Gets the KO. Galaxy holding off Apex on the other side. And Apex taking out his teammate? Yes he does! Possibly making himself have to share the stock and in a blink of an eye, blue team take the lead. Kalil needs to mash out. Red team fighting back hard. The reverse backer coming to take that stock out from Galaxy. Kalil still holds two stocks though. The delayed hitbox takes out Kalil's second stock. Now it's a one stock battle, but an uphill percentage to climb. Red team with their backs against the walls. Don't do us this smash, no! What is happening here? This is... PowerPoint Super Smash Brothers. That was bound to happen. I guess we will know soon enough. Such an unfortunate way to end though. That match was very intense. Rip indeed.
Who's gonna take it? Who's gonna take it? That's all she wrote. Kalel Galaxy 